Today, women and men around the world celebrated International Women's Day. The Me Too movement has given all of this new meaning. And in the last minute, Anna Ritas Rodriguez shows us all the pride, including right here in Boston. From Istanbul, Turkey to Boston. Every one of us in this room has the ability to pick up an injustice and, and do something better. And the UN. Time is up. On this International Women's Day, millions of women around the world took part in demonstrations to demand gender equality and support the growing Me Too movement. Me Too! Me Too! That was Seoul, South Korea. Stateside in California, corporations like McDonald's flipped its iconic logo, making a W for women. Low. And inside a Boston ballroom, marathon icon Katherine Switzer encouraged women to find ways to overcome adversity by creating opportunity. In 1967, Switzer became the first woman to finish the Boston Marathon, despite an official's attempt to forcefully stop her. Today, Switzer heads a social running network that spans three continents. I could have sued the official. I could have gone crazy with the BAA and said, you're unfair. I said, no, we're going to create opportunities for women. And look at, this, look at the history. It's become a social revolution, and it began here on the streets of Boston. A global show of solidarity in a march toward a better future. In Boston, I'm Anna Ritas Rodriguez, WBZ News. Mm. Amazing images. What I love about the Catherine Switzer story is she just did it. Yeah. She didn't ask for permission. Mm -hmm. nope. She just ran the Boston Marathon. <laughs> She's a strong woman. Great. Can Great. you imagine it, like that race taking place and no women taking part <laughs> no, in the, no. the, the same trying to knock out of the race? No, it's it's just boggles the mind. Makes no sense. No. McDonald's logo upset. Yeah, cool. that was very, very cool. I like that. I